Hello, this is Edwin from Get Notes. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show how we can create levels from uh, Excel file. So let's see if we see in this default template, we already have two uh, levels. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to recreate it from Excel file. Okay, let's just delete this so this is why uh, we use excel file for example if i want to use the prefix i can simply type two rows then i can select this and drag this one okay you can see that i already i immediately have uh, 30 prefix then here we can type let's say this one is uh, basement 2 this one is basement 1 uh, lower ground and this one is upper ground uh, maybe next we have uh, first floor then second floor I can just uh, select this two and drag it like before okay now we have uh, all the um, columns uh, all the rows are filled now about the elevation let's say this one is the level zero and here i have a minus four thousand i'm using metric here so this one is minus eight thousand and let's say this one is five thousand then this is five thousand plus four thousand let's say it's until to up to fifth floor then i have this plus uh, three hundred four okay now i can track this you see that uh, this is quite easy to do in excel but uh, it's a bit time consuming if we do that in rapid especially if we have uh, dozens or maybe hundreds of levels if you create a high risk building okay let me add another column here insert column and i will use this one to concatenate the string from this the prefix and i will add this parameter and this one okay so now i have the full uh, name for the level and drag it also so here I have the full level name and this one is the name that I'm going to use for uh, title on sheet so we we usually use prefix so we can uh, organize the uh, views in the project browsers but uh, title on sheet we use that so the name on the seats will be without the prefix i will show you later about this so let's just save this excel file left pause okay this seat is on seat one uh, remember this that we have uh, all the information on seat one we are going to need that when using dynamo okay now let's open dynamo okay this is my dynamo okay first we are going to open uh, uh, import the information from excel so i'm going to use excel import excel 
okay now the information that we need to provide is the uh, Revit file uh, the Excel file so I'm going to need to but file path then I select it in the documents okay uh, this uh, file path will give us strings um, this requires a file so let, let's see that that this will be rejected because uh, we need to convert this uh, type of data first but let's just leave it that way this one is seat one remember that we put all the information on seat one okay see here we can see that the uh, data type is different so we need to convert this first is the st uh, note is file from path okay now we already uh, have all the information in dynamo okay let's check okay we have all the information here but uh, the way dynamo read the information is different than uh, how we uh, expect the data will be read because uh, here we have the information uh, go down so this is the prefix this is the uh, level name uh, this is the view name and this is the location i need this to be uh, group uh, accordingly so i want all the uh, level name in one group i want all the elevation in one group i need to transpose this list first okay so uh, i'm going to transpose this now we can see that uh, all the information are uh, group correctly this one is uh, all the view name all this one is for the uh, level name or the elevation okay now we can continue next uh, i'm going to create levels by uh, by level by elevation and name okay now uh, we need to grab this uh, elevation this one you can see that this is the number three at uh, the index number three on the list so i'm going to grab this later and this one is uh, the one that i will use as the level name okay let's just use a code block so let's see that uh, level list let's create a level list and i want to grab the information number uh, on index 2 and let's copy this and i want to grab the elevation number uh, list number 3 okay let's uh, check using the watch note this is the index number two is the name and index number three is the elevation so we uh, get the correct data so this one is for elevation and this one is for name okay you can see that we already have all these um, levels immediately but uh, if you see in this project browser we don't have the uh, floor plan and selling plan yet so let's just switch this to manual first i'm going to create the uh, view floor plan floor plan view by level and also a selling plan view by level okay let's run this 
can see that it will add the floor plan and it will add the ceiling plan also now uh, the next uh, thing that we need to do is to put all the uh, title on sheet information here yeah so we need to set that using set uh, parameter by name okay the uh, okay this is the element the parameter name is let's see title on sheet and the value okay let's check here the value should be sorry this one the value should be on the uh, index one the name before the uh, prefix okay so let's create another data okay, let's just do it uh, here number one okay let's check with the watch note again we need to run this before we can see okay this is the correct data okay let's uh, connect this a note with this wire and another one is let's just copy control c control v the other one is this one selling plan view the parameter name is okay the same uh, that one sheet the value is also the same so let's just run this one okay Let's check. We already have the title on sheet, uh, the view name for all the floor plans. Next, we check for the sailing plan. Okay, it's also the same. Okay, now we are done. I can see. Let's just close and save this. Okay, now we can see that we uh, already uh, finished the script, the number graph, uh, where you can import the information from Excel and create the levels in uh, Revit automatically. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you find it useful.